welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Mary. Today is the second part of my spring and Easter home tour that I'll be sharing with you a little later. But first we're going to start with installing a new shelf into my hearth room. And let's get started on that. We'll just jump right in. I bought this plank of wood from Lowe's and it is six feet long by eight inches wide and one inch thick. And here I am doing a light sanding on it to make sure it was pretty smooth before I started to stain the color that I had chosen. And guys, these uh, pieces of wood that you can buy pre-cut at Lowe's or Home Depot are just great. I think it cost me about $8. Now next, here I am applying a dark walnut Minwax stain to my wood and I'm using a sponge applicator. Then I have a just an old t-shirt that I'm wiping back the stain and as I do each section you can see I'm not doing the whole plank at once I'm doing it about in thirds and as I apply a nice coat of the stain onto the wood I then wipe it back with my cloth. And in this section, you will see how the stain takes differently on different parts of the grain of the wood. Now, when I wipe it back here in a minute, you'll notice that. If you don't like that look, you can put a second coat of stain on your piece to make it be a little um, darker. You know, it's very what do I want to say? It's very uh, flexible in uh, getting the look that you want. But of course, having the grain show is a good thing. Now I'm moving on to installing these brackets that I bought on Amazon uh, above this little alcove in my hearth room and they were a bear to get in let me tell you uh, in the top part i found that there had to be a two by four um, behind that alcove going across and i didn't have to use any wall anchors i just had to hammer into that wood and boy it was tough holding that bracket and getting them in but at least I know that the brackets are in there very securely and can't fall or pull out of the wall at all. If you can find a 2 by 4 behind your drywall to hammer into it's fantastic for holding any weight that you put on a shelf. You may know this already. And the bottom part of the bracket I just screwed in with a wall anchor. Um, then, uh, just to get back to those brackets uh, from Amazon, uh, I bought them there because they were hard to find anywhere else, that sort of uh, shabby chic look that I was trying to find. Now here I'm putting my plank of wood just up on top of the two brackets that I installed. And then I am going to have to measure. I want to make sure that it's centered properly on the brackets. And then I have to screw in uh, the brackets from the bottom into the plank. And that will keep that shelf from moving around in any circumstance, you know, and falling off. So it's perfect for holding what you see I have displayed up there now, which are my collection of salt and pepper shakers. Now, I don't have a huge collection. If you've been following me, you know this is a new collection that I have started. And I did have few, a few seasonal salt and pepper shakers, but now I'm looking for them and it's a fun thing to hunt for when I'm out thrifting. I sure do have a lot of fun with this uh, collection and they're so cute to use for different seasons. 